Kate here is uh, working 1.4 times her her uh, 20 minute distance in 30 minutes. So we're at 40 percent um, above the 20 minute time, but we're at 50 percent above um, the, the assessment time. So you still should be a slower pace. You see uh, Kate here; she's not working super hard. And in fact, if you look on her little uh, row computer here, if I can get it. So right, right here, this bottom number, right there, that is her average. Uh, that's her average pace right there. So right now, her per 500 meter pace is 232, but her average pace is 231.7. So she calculated her average pace, and now she knows exactly what she needs to keep her per 500 meter pace at. And as long as that average pace stays where it's at. Um, stays what she calculated, then her, her meters are going to work out. So she probably has to do around six, about 6,000 meters? Uh, yeah. Six, six so she's going to do uh, 5,400 meters. Um, 231.8 in 30 minutes is going to get her r right about there. Um, and maybe it's maybe her average 232, yeah, so she's a little fast, but um, you get the idea. She can keep her average pace now, and she knows she knows how fast she has to go. If she um, if she gets any faster, then she's working too hard. But if she knows that pace and she keeps it there, she's gonna have a consistent effort. These other guys on the SSD side are working 30 minutes of step ups. I, I only have so many rowers, so I have some athletes starting on row, some athletes starting on step ups. Athletes who start on step ups will always start on step ups just so we're consistent. Um, and then, uh, so these guys have a per minute step up pace that they're that they're keeping, and uh, the same exact thing. They calculate their pace per minute. After 30 minutes, they should be at their their total number. Uh, if you're on a sort of an odd number, it doesn't work out per minute. Then you know you may be a couple seconds faster, slow. Um, but you get the idea. You're going to find your average, and then keep that pace for the steady effort.